What's up guys? This is Crypto with James talking to you today about Altora. Um, this is a nice low kappa. I think there's a lot of price potential for this. Uh, they have something called smart NFTs, which I'm going to cover, but they're providing the Web3 infrastructure for games, for integrating Web3 into gaming. Um, this is one actually that I've uh, shout out to Abdul who uh, recommended me take a look at this. I've uh, been looking at it over the weekend. It's a very interesting one. So I'm going to break this down, but I think there are gains to be had here. Before I get into it, though, guys, if you are new to the channel, these are the first 26 coins I spoke about on this channel. Had you put in just 100 bucks into each of these coins when I released videos about them and you never sold them. You're still sitting on them, rode them into a recession, rode them into a bear cycle. If you sold them today, uh, 100 bucks into each would have netted you a profit of 16K. But if you just sold these coins like I did in 2021 when the markets were red, red hot, 100 bucks into each could have netted you a profit of 123K. Huge difference between doing the right and the wrong thing. Now, as I said, I sold all these in 2021. Uh, but if you want to see the coins I own right now, you can do. You just have to go to copymycrypto.com. On the site, I share my entire portfolio. I give the members updates anytime I buy or sell a coin. We release videos on a daily basis talking about the markets where we have been nailing it day in and day out for months and months and months and months now. Uh, we have tutorials as well set up on the site. We've got thousands of members and a lot have never invested in crypto before. So these are step-by-step -step tutorials. Same ones I send friends and family that want to get into it. Um, and we have a history of success on both the site and the channel. We've had big, big wins, none more so than Phantom. Phantom is still up about over 100 times when I did the course about it. Uh, and in 2020, I did do uh, My course was called The Best Crypto Investment of 2020, and it was about Phantom. Said it would 100x or more. Um, now, if you'd have put in two grand into Phantom when I did the course and sold at the top in 2021, you could have netted 1.3 million. Now, I will find another Phantom. And when I do, I'm going to go onto my site. I'm going to tell my members about the coin. I'm going to, exactly how I do with all my other portfolio. Tell them about the coin. Tell them the gains I think it can have. Tell them the percentage of my money I'm putting in. And if they want to copy along, they can do. If that sounds good to you, if you want to take the work out of all the crypto research, go read the site now. And anything you read, you can personally verify on the YouTube channel's history, guys. So, Altora. So, priced at two cents, really low market cap, basically 13 million. Uh, hit heights of around 43 cents in the past bull cycle. Um, so, Altora is... Web3 gaming infrastructure platform. So it combines all the tools developers need to integrate Web3 into their games. Altura make it easy to mint, integrate, update, and transfer blockchain-based assets in-game using uh, their A API and SDKs. So game developers can focus on what matters most, building the games. Altura's platform supports five blockchains, which are Ethereum, Polygon, B uh, Binance Smart Chain, Phantom, and Avalanche. And they offer smart NFT tech. So that enables NFTs to be updated instantly and for free. So developers can list their games and NFTs on the Altura marketplace where thousands of users buy, sell, and trade NFTs daily. Uh, they also offer staking, uh, allowing holders to earn up to 15% in staking rewards, although that's not quite accurate anymore. Um, <clears throat> and since their launch, they've had over 300 developers build on the platform uh, and over 45,000 users um, to the Altura marketplace. Um, and they're looking to power the next gen of gaming, which include including games such as uh, Oxia, Origin, Search for Animera, Open World, Coin Racer, Argentix, Argentix and Arcade Inc. Um, founded by Majd Halat, uh, I'm probably butchering that name, apologies, uh, entrepreneur who attended uh, the University of Toronto um, and started coding in high school and programming for over five years, developed multiple applications, including Portfolio View, which is a crypto portfolio management app that averages 300 plus daily uh, active users. Now, <clears throat> the impressive thing about uh, Altura is the smart NFT tech. Where is it? There it is. So 
Smart NFTs. So Altura allows um, developers to update an item's non-static properties and update an item's image instantaneously with zero fee. Um, properties allow you to store and update any information you want to retain about an item. This could include health, wear, evolution, etc. And you may also uh, provide several images when minting an item that represents the item's varying states. You can then change the primary image to any of the preloaded images. This means that um, this feature, sorry, allows an item state to be independent of the user. So this means if a user owns a sword and levels it up in a game, it may become more valuable on the open market as a new owner of the sword will also get its upgrades. Um, <clears throat> now, what's quite interesting is the is that you can specify where when an F, when an NFT is going to be stackable or non-stackable. So, for example, minting a hundred stackable NFTs will create one NFT uh, with a supply of a hundred. This NFT will appear as a single item in a user's wallet, if, even if the user owns multiple of that item. So, minting a supply of a hundred non-stackable NFTs will create a hundred NFTs, each unique. Um, if a user owns several of these items, they will appear as a unique items in their wallet, not with uh, NFTs with the same token ID will all have the same properties. Um, it's a really clever feature. It's a really good idea. And the evolution of smart NFTs is inevitable to me. Like we're going to start seeing, we already started seeing like the first wave of NFTs was effectively this past year, really, or this past, you know, the past two years, really. Um, but we've started seeing fractionalized, like fractionalized NFTs. We're starting to see smart NFTs. The evolution of NFTs is inevitable. Um, and having um, NFTs that you can alter based on uh, the evolution of a game is highly valuable. Like fundamentally, as you continue in a game and you upgrade and you upgrade and you upgrade, it would be better if the NFTs upgrade alongside rather than you having to buy a new one every time, which is the kind of model that we've seen with your sort of Axie Infinity or so and, and other such games that have been around for a bit longer. Um, so Altura's, the way that they've got the development prepared should, in theory, allow for um, game development on Altura to be not only uh, more seamless, but faster. And as a result, it means more games can be produced at a better rate. Um, it means better quality games can be produced because there's less focus on the coding around the NFTs and the fact that you would have to effectively create a bunch of non-stackables. You can, you can create stackables. You can decide how you want to do it. Um, so they've got everything needed to integrate Web3 into a game. And the beauty of this is we're already seeing the growth. They can now build on all these chains. Um, and that's only going to increase. You know, they'll, they'll end up adding new chains if they're worthy of being added. Um, and you can earn about 8% APY, by the way. I think it works out as 7.55% APY on staking. So if you went on to... Uh, the site, there's literally a staking button here, stake now, takes you to this. And then you would put in however many you are staking and work out what you'll get. But you know you're going to get about 0.02% daily. And it works out about 7.55% across a year. Um, and when you realize the total value locked right now is 4.29 million, that's quite high when you realize that the overall market cap is only 13 million. So like a third of it is already... Um, Staked. Uh, in terms of issues for me with Altura, there's not really tons. Arguably, you know, we've got fairly low trading volume. That might be a concern, but to be honest, with its current market cap, I wouldn't expect it to be having millions and millions and millions of dollars in trading volume. Um, so half a million sort of dollars worth of trading volume in a day for a, a crypto that's worth 13 million in total is not that bad at all. Um, they've also uh, appeared 
or the, and the founding members have appeared. Um, they went to a gaming conference uh, at in, la, last year, um, and actually, those what I wanted to point out: smart NFTs and their metadata is live on the Binance network and are represented as BEP one one five five smart contracts. Um, and ALU is supported on the Binance network and it can be purchased on PancakeSwap with BNB tokens. Uh, as of June 2021, Binance is obviously the, the largest crypto exchange in the world um, and will only grow. The fact that they ended up on um, PancakeSwap so fast as well, to me, it's fairly inevitable that at some point this coin is going to end up on Binance and it will end up having quite a nice bounce as uh, so many coins often do when they land on Binance. Binance now sort of has that Coinbase effect. Um, in terms of price appreciation, I, I, I mean, this one is one that if they onboard more and more gaming projects to uh, their ecosystem, if they can show... You know, continue, and, and they do, do give pretty consistent updates, to be fair to them. Um, but if they can consistently update and point out the and onboard as many gaming projects as possible, this is one that can really grow. Because um, I haven't seen them really market. I didn't see them market last, uh, in 2021 when they were launching. They've experienced a lot of price growth in that time. Um for me, this is one that can bang up quite nicely. I would not be surprised to see 60 cents as a market cap. That would put it at, you know, 360 mil. And I still don't think that's very high given that they are, given that they're actually quite unique. Um, and I might actually be understating what they can do. Because, you know, even at a dollar, really, they'd only have a 625 million market cap. And if they are actually providing all the infrastructure that's growing these games, that's helping these games develop. This could do massive. I'm going to I'm going to say for now 30x is is very possible here. Um but if you if we start seeing some of the biggest crypto games or some of the biggest games in integrating web3, integrating smart NFTs, if Altura's the infrastructure dollar maybe more is possible right now you i would conservatively say 60 cents but i think this can do more it's a very intriguing one um what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below um yeah yeah let me know in the comments down below and if you're a returning viewer hit the subscribe button it helps the channel it's good for your karma and you know these videos will make you money you don't want to miss them but you didn't know about it all. and uh <clears throat> guys if you want to see the coins i own go to copymycrypto.com on the site i share my portfolio i let the members know any time i buy or sell a coin in real time videos are released every day talking about the markets we have been nailing the markets as well for the for months and months and months now the, the move predicting the market moves with pinpoint accuracy um we have tutorials set up for beginners if you're a beginner to crypto these tutorials will guide you on your sort of crypto investing journey. And, you know, no one has our history of success on the site, on the channel. No one in 2020 was talking about Phantom. I highly recommend you go through your favorite crypto YouTuber, search Phantom, look at what they were saying in 2020. No one was saying 100X. I was, I committed it to a course, literally a whole course about Phantom, why it would 100X or more. Um, and when I find the next Phantom, I'm not going to create a course like last time. I'm simply going to go onto my site and tell my members the same thing I tell them about all the other coins. What's the coin's name? What are the gains it can do? What's the percentage of my money I'm putting in? And if they want to copy along, they can. If that interests you, if you're looking to take the research element out of it, if you're looking to take the time out of all your crypto investing, go read the site now. And if you like it, guys, maybe I'll see you there. Take it easy. Bye-bye.